Did you know about parameterized paginated reports? What are they? How do you set them up? Check it out. You can now pick a different year. You could pick whatever parameter you want to set up. You can pick a different section here, multiple parameters, click view report, and you get a multi-page report feeding off your Power BI semantic model. You can then export it as a PDF or a PowerPoint slide if you wanted to do that, or even Excel and CSV. Multi-million row reports potentially exported from your Power BI semantic model. All right, let's go. Here's how you create this. And this is a new feature, the parameterization of paginated reports. I'm going to go into a semantic model that I've built and published to the service. Click on the dots, create paginated report. Okay, and you now get a new experience. It's looking a little bit different to what it did before. And I can come over here and I want to say, right, from my calendar table, I'd like to see every transaction. And this now appears like this. This is sort of your editing experience and your preview experiences down the bottom. If you want to make this column narrower, you hover over this one and make it a bit narrower. Okay, so this is what you do. And then I want to add, let's say, a measure. So I'm going to go for my um, usage and my generation. And again, you can make these columns narrower and wider. It's a little bit limited, like I can't currently align these column headings to the right and stuff like this. Within the build section, you've got a formatting window. You've got the limited things, bold header, flashy rows. Please, Miguel, if you're listening, please get rid of these bold header, flashy rows. All right, um, let's go for minimal, for example. Okay, so we've got this set up. Now, what's the new thing, the parameterization? Well, let's say I want people to be able to filter for a particular year. So I'm going to drag year into the filters panel. And then these three dots, I'm not quite sure why they hide it under here. It's not very discoverable, but that's the way it's set up currently. Create parameter. Continue. And now this parameter field appears here. Okay, and you can add as many as you want. I could go to my timetable and put the tariff band into the filter panel. And again, create parameter, continue. And you can add as many, I'm assuming, as many parameters as you want. Um, I don't know if there's a limitation. Okay, so with that, you can also insert headers and footers and images and text boxes. Um, so if I go to insert header, then within the header, you can add a field like the page number or the execution time. You can add a text box. You can do all those sorts of things. Okay, so let's just close that. And let's just go um, under the file. We can go save. Okay, and that then saves this report. Let's call it my demo param, go save, view the report. All right, so here we go. This is what the end user would see. You could share this report to the end users. You could put it as part of an app. Um, let's go to 2024, and I just want to see the off-peak view report. All right, and we've currently got one page, but if I go back to 2023, I've got more months of data for 2023. We're loading 300 odd rows. So this is gonna be the first page, but we can go to the next page, page two, etc. And you can export, and they can choose then to export it to Excel. Off it goes, ready for download open the file, and here's what the report looks like in Excel. Okay, or it could be PDF. There's the header section, which I didn't actually put anything in, but that's what it would look like. Pretty cool. All right, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think.
catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.